Hi student, welcome to the last subtopic on the mole. This is molar gas volume and atomicity of gases. We'll first of all start by defining atomicity of gases. It is the number of atoms in one mole of an element and it is referred to the atomicity. For example, in bromine, Br2, nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen, they have two atoms per molecule, hence diatomic. Di means two. In ozone, O3 has three atoms in a molecule, hence triatomic. Noble gases like barium, argon, and neon have atomicity of one, therefore monoatomic. Mono means one. Molar gas volume. The volume occupied by one mole of any gas at any given temperature and pressure is called the molar mass. At STP, it is 22.4 d meter cubed. The volume capacity occupied by one mole of any gas at 25 degrees centigrade at one atmospheric pressure called room temperature and pressure, RTP is 24.0 d meter cubed. Uh, example, how many moles of atoms are there in 9.6 d meter cubed of nitrogen at RTP? How many moles of atoms are there in 5.6 d meter cubed of chlorine at STP? Molar gas volume at STP is 22.4 d meter cubed and 24 d meter cubed at RTP. Solution. How many moles of atoms are there in 9.2 d meter cubed of nitrogen at RTP? So we know one mole of nitrogen gas occupies for 24 d meter cubed volume at RTP. So what about 9.6? So you put 9.6 d meter cubed on the volume side and you, you cross multiply to get the value of moles as 0.4 moles of nitrogen molecule. So two atoms make one molecule. Therefore, because the question was asking about the atoms, we convert this. Uh, we convert the number of moles now into uh, into atoms. So there will be 0 0.8 molecules of nitrogen atoms because these were 0 0.4 moles of nitrogen molecules, hence. You multiply by 2 to get 0 0.8 moles of nitrogen atoms present. How many moles of atoms are there in 5.6 d meter cubed of chlorine at STP? One mole of chlorine gas occupies that volume of 22.4 d meter cubed at STP. So what about 5.6? It will occupy a volume or it will have a mole of 0.25 moles of chlorine gas but we are being asked the number of moles of atoms these are molecules and we know two atoms make one molecule so you multiply you place this on the molecule side and then you multiply by two to get the number of molecules of a chlorine atom as 0.5 moles Gay-Lussac's law, how does it fit? When gases react, they do so in volumes that bear a simple ratio to one another and to the volumes of the product is gaseous. Temperature and pressure remain constant. Example, to make this law clear, carbon to oxide gas plus oxygen gas produces carbon four oxide gas. So two carbon carbon two oxide plus oxygen gas produce carbon monoxide. So twenty volumes and ten centimeters cubed and ten of carbon dioxide. So we divide with the smallest value, which is ten, to get two volumes, one volume, one volume. So the reaction is in that kind of volumes in two 
In an experiment, 30 centimeter cube of sulfuric foglide were found to react completely with 15 centimeters cubed of oxygen to produce 30 centimeters cubed of sulfur 6 oxide. Determine the equation of the reaction. So, write the word equation, then chemical equation, then write the volumes underneath 30, 15, 30. Divide with the smallest volume to get one volume, two volume, and two volumes. So the number of moles is 2, 1, 2, which is as per the volumes. So the balance equation for this will be 2, then 1 for oxygen, and 2 for sulfuric 6 oxide. 3. When 50 centimeter cube of gaseous hydrogen carbon, hydrocarbon CXHY burns in 200 centimeters cube of oxygen, 50 centimeters cube of oxygen is unused, 100 centimeters of carbon for oxide and 100 of steam were formed. Determine the equation of the reaction and the formula of the hydrocarbon. When you're reading this question, it is good to read sentence after sentence. Like in this part, 50 of oxygen is unused, meaning 150 was used up in the reaction. So, the equation is written that way. And then we put down the volumes 50, 150, 100, and 100. We divide with the smallest value. Volume is 50. We get one volume. This one to be three volumes. This one to be two volumes. And this one to be two volumes. So the moles will follow the same one mole, three moles, two moles, and we have two moles. So the equation will be written this way. We get the moles and we put in our equation to get that way. Since this equation is balanced, then it will be found that on this side of the product we have 4 hydrogen. Therefore we have to make this one 4. This implies that Y would be 4 and oxygen or carbon would be 2. Balanced equation will be written that way, and that is the answer for the balanced equation. Equal volume of gases will contain equal number of molecules. The number of molecules per mole of any gas is 6.023 times 10 to the power 23, and uh, this was referred as Avogadro's constant or Avogadro's number, and it occupies the volume of 22.4 dimeter cube at SPP. The Avogadro's constant in this one is denoted by capital L, as we said earlier. So, how many molecules of oxygen are there in a volume of 11.2 dimeter cube at STP? So, one mole of a gas occupies that at STP. So what about uh, this, what about in one, one mole again, we know that we have the Avogadro's constant. So to know the number of molecules, we first of all need to use the first relationship, one mole of a gas occupies that. So what about 11.2? So 11.2 will have this number of moles, 0 0.5 moles, moles. Now, using the second relationship, we know one mole of a gas has this. So, what about 0 0.5? So, 0 0.5, with dual cross multiplication, we get the number of molecules to be that. So, how many molecules? You have to go back to the question to read it again. So, this is the number of molecules. Now, in example 5, if 0 0.28 grams of nitrogen occupies 224 centimeters cubed at STP, calculate 
its relative molecular mass nitrogen 14 so 0 0.28 grams occupies that at stp so what about in 22.4 the meter cube which is 22,400 centimeters cube you cross multiply to get the value of grams to be 28 grams of nitrogen so that is the R and N of here is a quiz to test the concept and understanding of the molar gas volume work out all the questions the answers are provided it is good to note some of them will ask you about the atoms you have to be very careful in the conversion between molecules and atoms there is also continuation of the quiz and the answers are provided also testing about whether you understand the concept and interchangeability of conversion of atoms to volumes and also the moles end of the topic exam will be provided below the quiz be prepared for attempt topic exam and uh, the topic will be testing all the concepts you have learned in all the subtopics and kindly do thorough revision consult widely before attempting you may replay the videos or pause and do thorough revision mole is a very simple topic in form 3 please understand and i hope you have enjoyed certificate shall be awarded to those who score over 90 percent we hope you will be one of the students who will get certificates on mole concepts thank you bye bye and wish you the best